Good morning and welcome to The Toman Show. I'm Marissa Toman, and yesterday, Assistant District Attorney Thomas Bloom indicated that his office will not be filing charges against the police officers involved in the shooting that took place in central LA three nights ago. A shooting that resulted in the death of an African-American mother and her infant child as they were sleeping. When officers believed the home to be a drug haven, it was revealed to not be the case, and over 20 rounds were shot into the home, half of them striking the mother and her child. More information is yet to be revealed, but today we're going to talk about the impact that has on our nation. Let me lay out a few facts for you, Mr. Rowland. Your client is a career criminal whose rap sheet required a whole new ream of paper for my copier. That's fact one. Fact two is my record, which I'm sure you're well aware of. Prosecution rate 99%. So this deal that I'm offering you is not an option. It's a gift. So I'd take it. You're gonna have to take this deal. Fuck you, man, that deal. I know. But trust me, you don't want good work with this guy. I know what you're doing. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Bloom. My client will take your plea deal. Smart move for the both of you. Thanks, huh? Excuse me? In the street, we got a nickname for you. Uncle Tom. So like I said, thanks, Unc. Mr. Bloom. Yes, can I help you? Jeffrey Hucks. Just started here. Come on in. How's everything? How are you settling in? Good. Everyone's been kind. Good. Well, Jeffrey, I'd like to ask every new hire the same question. What was it that brought you into the law? My father, mainly. He's a lawyer. No, he was actually a repairman. Yeah, he was out one night closing up his shop when he was arrested. The cops thought he was breaking into his own shop. Mm. He was reaching into his jacket pocket when they shot him. He was just grabbing his keys. Wow, terrible story. Sorry to hear that. It's all right. It was a long time ago. <laughs> but it's what kind of lit the match for me, you know? I wanted to fight systemic racism and hopefully be a good role model to young black men. Show them that we are so much more than just a record deal or Duncan skills. No, that's an amazing thing to want. I'm sure your father would be proud. Maybe. But I'm sure he'd agree there's a lot more work that needs to be done. That's why guys like us can make a change. I must admit, you have an impressive prosecution rate. Can't deny it. But hey, maybe together we can work to lower it amongst the young black men. Justice is blind, Mr. Hux. Neither you nor I can change that. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to it. It's been a pleasure, Thomas. Same here. Linder was on a roll today. At lunch, he was ordering so much wine. Yeah. Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? You seem a little, I don't know, somewhere else. Sorry, it's, it's just been a weird day. <clears throat> <sighs> well, listen up. I'm almost at the good part. Where was I? Oh, right, okay. So Linda, at this point, she had had a little too much wine. And you know, Linda, she's the mayor's wife, so she can order all the good stuff. 
but I don't know if it was the booze or what, but she told me something about you. Me? Mm -hmm. What about me? The DA's retiring. And I guess only a handful of people that he considers close know about it. And she said, given in everything that you've accomplished and an endorsement from her husband, you're at the top of the list. District Attorney Thomas Blue. Well, damn. That's... That's something. Honey, this is what you've been working towards. I half expected you to jump on the table and start screaming. No, it, it is. It's just... I've been thinking about some things today. The plea deal that I offered the other attorney's client, he said something. And then the new attorney that we hired, this kid, African-American, he said something and it's just... Hey, you're not the bad guy, okay? You're far from it. I mean, your numbers? They are off the charts. In the last 20 years, no other assistant DA has prosecuted more criminals than you. Criminals, Thomas. It doesn't matter what color they are. It's not your fault. They're mostly black. How can that be your fault? It's theirs, their choices, their actions. Right. Yeah, I'm on my way. I, I'm driving now. I know I'm a little late. I'm on my way. What? No, don't call, I'll call. I'll call him. Okay, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, bye. Call the mayor. Mr. Mayor. I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm 10 minutes away. Yes, 10 minutes. No, 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 that's okay. Go, go ahead and order without me. I'll, I'll be right there, sir. Okay, see you soon. You wanna take this one or should I? See these stripes? You're working today. 10 for Code 6, my location. I'm sorry, officer. I have someplace I really need to be. Oh, I could tell by the speedy. <laughs> speedy? There's nobody on this road. Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're a guy who is speeding. ask you this, sir. Is this your car? This. Yes, this is my car. Okay, I'm gonna need you to lower your voice. No, I won't lower my voice. I have some place I need to be. That's it. Exit the vehicle, sir. Okay, okay I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me just Whoa, show you. Hey, let hands where I can see them. Exit the vehicle now, sir. Okay, okay. Hands on top of the car. Let me just show you my hands, hands on top of the car. Am I being arrested? Do you have any weapons I'm on your I'm warning person? you. This is wrong. Do you have any You're making a huge mistake. This is wrong. This is wrong. Stop resisting. Stop, Stop resisting. I'm warning you. Stop though. resisting, this, sir. This is wrong. Call for backup. Code 6 Adam. Code You're making six. this worse. Stop resisting. <laughs>